Hello YouTube world. First of all, as an introduction, just wanted to say a really big thank you for all your lovely comments on these paintings last week. Um, <laughs> it, it was really lovely actually. So today I will be doing something very similar, but easy peasy. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, there goes my phone. <laughs> um, it's going to be a little tiny, tiny uh, painting today. Now, I apologise for the mess. Look at it all. It's very unprofessional of me. I can't wait to get my new studio. It's going to be in about three weeks' time it'll all be done. Um, because I'll have a couple of work, different working stations, you know, one for recording, one for working, etc. But anyway, back to today. I, I didn't know if I was going to get a painting out this week um, because I am in the throes of doing a epic <laughs> collaboration with Nathalie from um, Travel of Paints. And um, I've been doing so much practicing and you can see all the colors there. It, you know, it's... <laughs> all I can say is it's premiering next week on the 7th is it not sure of the time yet um so i would really like it actually if as many of you as possible can join us live um it's it's a pretty no racking thing to do i did it with sarah mac and um yeah so <laughs> anyway um forgive the mess but today you can see i'm just making a mess already I've really started to use my fingers a lot in the paintings and it's it's absolutely strangely liberating. It's lovely. So um, I am creating a little bit of a white base. I'm also experimenting with different ways of making things simpler. Um, I would have done a flip cup actually for this, but I, I'm just not going to do that because I I wanted a very graduated and subtle sky. So I, I'm just literally uh, putting puddles on the canvas. And this is what the technique I'm, I'm going to use for the painting next week. It's just literally for the sky is to put puddles on and swirl it around the canvas because you do, you get some kind of a cloud effects. Um, whereas sometimes with a flip cup, if you if you if you want um, effects, you know, and complicated things happening, you you'll get them. But I I wanted subtlety here, um, as much as I as much as I could. It still ended up complicated. Colours I'm using are all made up colours. Um, the bases being Amsterdam sky greyish blue, and. Uh, extreme sheen silver mixed with white and blue I, I can't be any more specific than that because if you saw my table it's covered in mixes of paints different colors different hues different shades you name it it's in front of me um, and I tend to pick up a color and think all oh, that needs to be darkened all oh, that needs to be saturated so I, I end up having mixes left right and center um, so you can see this painting it's it's very uh, wonky there on the right left hand side but that is see on the right hand side that's what I want that's what I want to achieve all over okay so I do I swipe um, the base a few times just to blend blend that sky a little bit more um, and I'm quite pleased with that sometimes little ones they take a lot of effort actually they're, you know they're not as easy as they look just because it's a small painting give it a good torch now, I'm using the same colours as I did last week and I'm going to start off with a, a line of gold. Now, there's no silicone in this gold. I'm just going to put um, 
use it as a, as a background for my trees. Okay. And I tip some of that off. And then, and obviously this is where I should have left it about half an hour because the sky moves as well. <laughs> I get so impatient sometimes. And you know what? You need a lot of patience in fluid art. I think you can all testify to that. Okay, I'm putting very thin lines of my green, which does have silicone, of my, what do I use next? Orange. I go <laughs> even less of the orange. I have a lovely iridescent um, green from PBO, even less. And that is it. I do tilt that again, because you don't want to leave too much paint on your canvas. And you can see my sky moving again. <laughs> One last swipe. I, I, really, I, I really don't like wonky cells. Um, not, not jiggy jiggity jaggedy. Obviously, I'm going for wonky cells in a tree horizon. Um, that's what I'm after. That's what I want. And, but not, not in the sky. Pe my paint's very bubbly as well today. I made up the silver this morning. And there you go, activating the silicone. And I really hope it goes mad. I haven't looked at it for 10 minutes. Um, I literally doing this voiceover <laughs> straight after doing the painting but I want those really thin long elongated cells so that I can um, change them and um, draw over the top I don't want to use any gold leaf we'll see I don't tend to use gold and silver in the same painting but with the experience that I've done for Natalie um, I think it's working well, so we'll see. I decided it needs some orange here, which was a mistake. I should have left it because I, re I remembered that there was no silicone in the, the yellow, sorry. I'm waffling away today. So, so far, so good. I wanted lots of sky. A crazy wonky, my husband, <laughs> my husband said, it should really be called a trippy forest because it reminds him of um, Austin Powers um, in the 60s and that kind of the shapes of the lettering and I don't know what you call it actually but I, I can totally see where he's coming from so yeah the trippy forest I'm not on drugs by the way probably shouldn't have said that should I anyway okay this is the dried result and look how much that spread and i really wish i didn't put that yellow in <laughs> i love the sky i really like what's going on very subtle it's what i was after so now i am going to work over the top of this and turn it into something meaningful a little landscape I am so pleased with the way this little painting has turned out. Just a few lines drawn as trees and it's completely transformed it. Really pleased. It's only titchy, but it's really cute. So just a sneak peek of what I've been working on for a few weeks now. This is a collaboration between myself and Natalie from Traveller Paints and it's coming next week. It's going to be a premiere. I'm not quite sure at the time, but it will be next Sunday. I'd love for as many people to join us both as possible. So see you next week.